Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you two ways of contouring your brows. It is two different techniques, uh, one for a more natural result, the other one for a more dramatic result. So either way you prefer, uh, it's going to look good. So if you want to see how I achieve these looks, please keep on watching. So, drawing a vertical line from the center of your nose upwards is where your brow should start. From the same point, but crossing your iris upwards, here you are gonna have the arch of the brow. And for the tail of the brow, you're gonna drag a line from the corner of your nostril through the corner of your eye, and there is where your brow should stop. So to recap, the first point is the beginning of the brow, the second point is the arch of the brow, and the third point is the tail of the brow, as you can see in the image. For the next step, you're gonna grab a mascara wand and then brush the brow upwards. Next, I'm gonna take an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencil and for my first part, I'm gonna draw a line underneath the brow just to map up my shape. Then I'm gonna brush the hairs of the brow downwards and make a line on top of the brow. After I draw the two lines and mapped out my shape, I'm gonna brush the hairs upwards. Now I can see my shape clearly and start filling in between the two lines. And now you can see the difference between the two brows and how a well-polished brow changes your face. To set the hairs in place, I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and I'm gonna brush the hairs upwards just to make them stay in place all day long. And for the finishing touches, I'm gonna use an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen just in the sparse places where I need more filling. For the second brow look, I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Wax, which is able to set in place even the thickest hairs. Next, I'm gonna use an Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow in shade medium brown. For this look, you're gonna also need a synthetic angular brush. Next, take a small amount of the deep brow, place it on the back of your hand and start drawing small hairs in the gaps you might have. Please take your time with this step, you want to make it as natural as possible. For the frontal part of your brow, please use the lightest touch, you want to make it look as natural as possible. So now you can see both sides with different results, whether you like the more lightweight, feathery one or if you like the more groomed, polished one. I hope you try one technique and share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.